Hey, my name is Rachel, glad you could make it. All right, I'm doing a what I eat in a day video. It's gonna be vegan, it's gonna be lots of whole plant foods. Should be a good time. And again, focusing on foods that are good for gut health, because good gut health is essential, right? I already started out having my little morning tonic. It's some lemon juice, some ginger powder, maple syrup, and filtered water. It's really refreshing and hydrating. And then I also made my little herbal juice shot. So I take some turmeric, amla powder, black cumin, a little bit of black pepper, and then I use some of this grape juice. I stir it up and just toss it back like a shot. It doesn't taste amazing, but it's over quickly, and you know, I like having turmeric for anti-inflammatory benefits, and the pepper activates the turmeric, amla, lots of antioxidants, as well as in the black cumin and grape juice because it makes it palatable. <laughs> and then I made my breakfast. I was in the mood for a little yogurt parfait. So I'm using this Forager Plain Unsweetened Yogurt. It's made of cashews, it has probiotic cultures. It's super delicious and thick, it's kind of like a Greek yogurt. And then I added in some of my homemade granola. There's oats, walnuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, cinnamon, vanilla, and maple syrup. I just roast it up, super easy, and it tastes so good. And then I added in a banana and some frozen wild blueberries, and it's beautiful. I love yogurt parfaits, and I'm so glad there are like more and more plant-based yogurts that don't have a ton of like crap in them like there's no sugar and I like to mix it all up because that's the point of a parfait for me like first year of college like before I was vegan like every day I would get this yogurt parfait from like Einstein's brother's bagels it was good but this is better because it's healthier for me and god knows I don't do dairy this is my first time buying that forager yogurt I just got it the other day but I'm already hooked on it so definitely recommend but also like if you need to like like plain yogurt but with this, with all these things, like it tastes super sweet. Like there's maple syrup in the granola, there's sweet fruit. I think it's plenty sweet. But there is a tang to it. Super colorful. The frozen blueberries, they just like, they soften up really quickly. They're not all like hard and icy. It's all purple. Well, it's perfect because I like all the textures. Like there's crunchiness and then it's like creamy yogurt and like soft texture from the fruit. The recipe for the granola is from the Fiber Fueled book, but I changed it. It has like sunflower oil in it and you like heat it up with the maple syrup, but I just skipped the oil and I didn't heat up the maple syrup and I just poured the maple syrup into my mixture before putting it in my pan. And it seemed to work fine. I don't really notice much of a difference. Like the oil seems pretty unessential. It has all those super seeds, getting my omega-3s in, getting some whole grains. Like I know it's so easy to buy like store-bought granola because there's like a million kinds, but there's always just like added ingredients and they're pretty much all made with oil. And it's just like, it's just unnecessary and it's so easy to make yourself. It's just you mix things in a bowl and then put it in the oven. Like it's really, really simple. And then you get bragging rights that you make your own granola. So this is breakfast. Also, if you're a returning viewer, yeah, this is not uh, the place I normally film at. I do not live at that location anymore. I'm currently with some family, so. Sorry if the audio and lighting isn't uh, perfect in this video. I'm still kind of getting the hang of things around here and figuring out uh, my optimal camera settings. After breakfast, I ended up going on a hike and I drank some iced hibiscus tea during it. And now I'm back and it's time for some lunch. So this is red lentil curry soup. I got the recipe from the Fiber Fueled book. I actually cooked it the other day, but got plenty of leftovers to eat. To make it, I sauteed some onions and a bit of the biome broth that's from Fiber Fueled. It's just a vegetable broth. Threw in some celery and carrots and a potato. Added in some spices. There's cumin, turmeric, paprika, ginger, curry powder, salt, and pepper. Then I added in my wet ingredients, some canned diced tomatoes, a bunch of the biome broth, and then the red lentils. I didn't have enough lentils, so I also threw in some black lentils, so it made the color a little less pretty, but it's okay. And that just simmered for about half an hour. Then I took my immersion blender and blended up the big chunks. And then I added in some fresh cilantro and lemon juice. And I'm enjoying it today with some radish sprouts on top. So this is more of 
like an Indian style curry. It's not like a Thai coconut one. But yeah, this is more like a chili or a stew. Like it's super thick. I know I've been liking making like soups and chilies lately. I know it's like summer, but it's just nice because like they're easy to cook and then I have a ton of it. And then just, you know, over the next couple days, I can just heat up a bowl real quick and I have a meal. Easiest meal prep is like chili and soup in my opinion. This will be lunch. I'm pretty hungry on that hike. Kind of last minute, my friend texted me like, hey, you want to go on a hike? And I was like, actually I do, because I have not been exercising very much lately. I feel like I've just gotten to a bit of a rut with it, just not that motivated. But it was really nice to be outside. I'm sure my legs will be tired tomorrow. It's like all uphill. I know this isn't the prettiest thing, but it tastes pretty. For dinner, I was in the mood for some pasta, so I started boiling some of this chickpea rotini pasta. All it is is chickpea flour, and I love the little swirly noodles. And while that was cooking, I made a creamy, cheesy sauce. I randomly found the recipe online. I knew I wanted something with tahini and miso, but I was kind of unsure about the measurements. I'll put the link for the recipe in the description. It's from walderwellness.com. So I took four tablespoons of tahini, two tablespoons of fermented miso paste, six tablespoons of nutritional yeast, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, about six tablespoons of some hot water, and then a little bit of pepper to taste, and I just stirred that up really well. And once my pasta was ready, I drained it. I added in some spinach and arugula and a bit of this beet kraut just for some extra fermented foods. And I added my sauce and stirred it all up. I'm having some water with my meal. Like it has a cheesiness, but miso just brings like a, I don't know, it's like a delicious salty flavor to things. You know, it's a fermented food. Getting a little bit of greens in there. I've just really been loving at the end of the day, cuddling up with a big thing of pasta. <laughs> I usually go for like red lentil pasta, but this chickpea one's good too. I just feel like the legume pastas really like hold up. Like rice pasta, I only want rice pasta if it's like a recipe that specifically calls for rice noodles. Cause otherwise the texture isn't great and there's like a weird flavor. I'm not like strictly gluten free anymore. Um, and you know, I'm trying to heal my gut and so I can tolerate some more wheat products. And when I have whole wheat noodles, it's still, that's one of my like challenge foods for sure. It def definitely gives me like a bad headache and I'm just not in the mood for a headache today. <laughs> I just wanted some bean pasta instead. So I guess today is a gluten free day. So this will be dinner and then pretty much every day after dinner, I've been having some fruit as a little snack in the evening. Got some grapes here for later. I've been obsessed with grapes, probably because like grape season's gonna end soon, so I'm like making the most out of it. But I've been going through like an entire like big bag of grapes every like two days or so. I kind of get green or red, I just alternate, but I feel like I've been eating a lot of legumes lately. I don't know, they're just like really satisfying. I like them. There's so many different kinds of legumes to explore with your life. I know a lot of people say when they eat like beans and lentils, they get really bloated and like gassy. That's really not the case for me. I feel like it was when I hadn't eaten them for a long time and then started eating them again, which makes sense because you're kind of building up the prebiotics and probiotics in your gut to digest these foods. So like, unless you have like a really severe, you know, gut problem, if you're just someone you're like, you avoid beans because they you think they make you gassy, I would try just eat some beans regularly for a while. Don't need a humongous amount. Just slowly get your body acclimated to them because legumes are so good for you and they're so satisfying. Like when I eat my meals now, like I feel good. I don't feel stuffed or lethargic. I don't feel bloated or puffy. It's been good, folks. Really. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. You can subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out new videos every Monday. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about all that's going on right here. As always, thank you so much for being here. Goodbye. What is about different noodle shapes that's so exciting? Like a rotini noodle that's all swirly, so much more exciting to me than like a spaghetti noodle. Why? Also, who comes up with all the different pasta shapes? It seems there's infinite shapes of pasta. Who's just sitting around being like, today we're gonna make pasta in the shape of bow ties. And everyone's like, what? But don't we already have that? We have farafel that's so similar. Maybe they're the same thing. I don't know, and all these pastas, they seem the same, but they're different. Just standing in the pasta aisle, looking at all the different types of pasta. Mind blown emoji, for real. Anyone else? Or is that just me simping over noodles?